All right, so so far this year, we learned to factor certain type of algebraic expressions. And one of the ones that you should realize how to factor is this one in this form here. And if you remember, we had to do the table, or pardon me, the box method for this. So two numbers that multiply to get are 30, and two numbers that add up to get this middle number here, which is negative 11. All right. And what we did was we put an X here, an X here, and we figured out that it was minus six and minus five, uh, minus six and minus five. And we just put those numbers there. All right. So this is what we had to do. Now, when we looked at a lot of these questions, we realized that there was this typical form where you had a x squared piece, then you had another piece in this case with just x to the power of 1, and finally you had a third term here with that was just a number like this, okay? So if we try to write this thing which we call the general form, it looks kind of like this, ax squared plus bx plus c. And if we link these together, you'll notice that the A is the invisible one on here. The B is the 4, represented by the 4, and the C is 5, okay? So we're going to give names to the numbers in front of these terms here. So in front of the X squared, it's always the A. So in this example, it's 1. In front of the B, or pardon me, in front of the, just the X term is the B, and in our example, it's 4. And then the C is the number alone with no X attached to it. It's, so it's the constant term. And that is five in this example, okay? So whenever we see this form AX squared plus BX plus C, this is what we call a quadratic, all right, quadratic. And the reason why they use this word quad is because it reminds us of Four. Now, if I draw a square and I label one side x as an example, so if this side is x, that means this side is x as well because it's a square. And if I ask you to find the area of this square, you would say it's side times side, so x times x, and that gives us x squared. So the main idea behind quadratics is that there is always an x squared term. Always, always, always. All right. And that's what we call a quadratic. Okay. Now, if we want to, we can make a rectangle, which looks kind of like this. And now if I want to, I could create this side, which is x minus 3. And this side could be x plus 2. And if we wanted to, we could find the area of this rectangle in here. And of course, it's length times width for a rectangle. So x plus 2 times x minus 3. And of course, you've learned how to distribute. So if I wanted to, I could distribute it after, like so. And what you would end up getting is x times x is x squared. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And of course, we have some like terms in here. So once again, we can do this. And once again, you can see that this is now in one of the same formats that we have up here. So ax squared plus bx plus C. And in this example, our A is the invisible one here. Our B is the number out in front of this X. So actually, there's an invisible one there as well. So it's negative one. And then we have a C, and the C is just negative six. So this is just a very simple ideas describing quadratic equations. So anytime you have quadratic equations, you're going to have this format. And I can show you a whole bunch of quadratic equations that you have done. So if you look here, 
you can see by the factorization chapter that we were doing that we have done a whole bunch of quadratic equations. So if you look here, I have three terms, all look very similar to what I have here. All right. So if we go back, look at this one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, all of them look very similar. They all have an x squared. They all have a piece with one x in here to the power of one, and they all have the constant term as well. So all of these things, all these expressions are called quadratic expressions. So there's an introduction just so that we know that from now on, this type of expression, we're going to call it a quadratic expression.